Books by John Brockman. John Brockman is an author specializing in scientific literature. He established the Edge Foundation, an organization that brings together leading edge thinkers across a broad range of scientific and technical fields. John Brockman's books were my best find last year. His books are a compilation of the best scientific essays published on a variety of topics by the brightest minds. And here is a list of his books that I absolutely loved. Life. Life is an accurate title. Discussions in this book relate to life, how to define it, how evolution really works, how parasites affect decision making, a new approach to antibiotics and much more. Featuring pioneering biologists, geneticists, physicists and science writers, life explains just how far we've come and takes a brilliantly educated guess at where we are heading. As far as I know, you can't get this stuff anywhere else unless you comb through research papers and academic journals. Know this. Scientific developments radically change and enlighten our understanding of the world, whether it's advances in technology and medical research or the latest revelations of neuroscience, psychology, physics, economics, anthropology, climatology or genetics. And yet, amid the flood of information today, it's often difficult to recognize the truly revolutionary ideas that will have lasting impact. In the spirit of identifying the most significant new theories and discoveries, John Brockman asked, what do you consider the most interesting recent scientific news? What makes it important? And the book compiles its answer given by today's 198 of the finest months. This idea is brilliant. Just from core ideas explained clearly, these numerous essays range from something as simple as the need for us all to remember how to count or knowing numerical significance all the way to the concept of epigenetics, semiotics, or an honest plethora of other awesome ideas. Ideas in this book are put forward in short, well-written chapters and just enough information is provided so that you get the concept and then you are free to choose whether to further research the topic at your own convenience or pursue the next interesting idea a page or two away. The Universe. In this book, today's most influential science writers explain the science behind our evolving understanding of the universe and everything in it, including the cutting edge research and discoveries that are shaping our knowledge. Explore the universe with some of today's greatest minds, what it is, how it came into being and what may happen next. Thinking. Thinking is a collection of transcribed talks and conversations by some of today's smartest cognitive scientists and philosophers. It describes the questions they are currently working on, so far without firm answers, but with a lot of fascinating hypotheses and lines of inquiry. The topics discussed include how we reason, make decisions, predict and judge morality. The talks are delivered in plain, lively English rather than subporific academies and each one is short enough to digest in one sitting. This will make you smarter. What scientific concept would improve everybody's cognitive toolkit? This is the question John Brockman posed to the world's most influential thinkers. Their visionary answers flow from the frontiers of psychology, philosophy, economics, physics, sociology, and more. This explains everything. John Brockman asked experts in numerous fields and disciplines to come up with their favorite explanations for everyday occurrences. Why do we recognize patterns? Is there such a thing as positive stress? Are we genetically programmed to be in conflict with each other? Those are just some of the 150 questions that the world's best scientific minds answer with elegant simplicity. This idea must die. John Brockman poses the question, what scientific idea is ready for retirement? And today's visionary thinkers target the greatest roadblocks to innovation. What should we be worried about? This is the question John Brockman posed to the planet's most influential minds. He asked them to disclose something that for scientific reasons worries them, encompassing neuroscience, economics, philosophy, physics, psychology, biology, and more. I think you will love these books even if you do not like science. Happy reading.